Hey everybody, welcome back to JOJ. It is September 24th. We are moving along in the month of September. I know, like I just had like this realization that it's like technically like football season and it's September and what are you, why are you looking at me like that? Yeah, I'm, it's turning towards fall, like it's all kinds of stuff. What was that? And you've been wearing the same clothes for two months. <laughs> That's what I was actually hey, thinking. For two months and it and my hair is looks this good. It's good. I mean it's been the same like it's consistent. Uh, Very consistent. I just had to point that out since we're at the end of Thank you. The end Thank of this, you for so. that. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I, I'm gonna make they, they laugh. I'm gonna be like, no, I'll need to change shirts. We're going back. No, we're not. The uh, title for this week is Bible Based Revival. Hezekiah gave encouragement to all the Levites who taught the good knowledge of the Lord. That's in Second Chronicles, verse uh, or chapter thirty, verse twenty-two. The book of Second Chronicles is the Bible's handbook on revival, describing the periodic waves of revival that swept over Judah. One of the greatest revivals of that time occurred during the reign of King Hezekiah, who had the sense to encourage those who were teaching the good knowledge of the Lord. By promoting sound teaching for his nation, Hezekiah fanned the flames of revival so it wouldn't die down. Genuine revival is rooted in solid biblical teaching. A revival that doesn't rest on the word of God will either fade out or turn into a stenuous display of emotionalism and sensationalism. Boy, that's a lot of words. I'm, so, I'm thinking I'm so glad you're reading. <laughs> Nothing except a return to scripture can arouse a nation, a church, or an individual to return to God from a backslidden condition. We must have the power and authority of God's truth. For personal revival, open your Bible. Encourage those who teach and preach God's word and respond to the word with humility and obedience. The quote now is from Bill Bright. God has promised to respond with revival fire for any person who will hear, love, trust, and obey him. Okay, all about revival, Bible-based mm -hmm. revival. Yeah. Yep. Um, you know, of course, I, you hear revival, I, I think of like you know um like a tent revival yes or, yes, yes i was trying yeah. i'm trying to like i can picture the preacher up there preaching yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but that's what i think of when i think revival or like yeah. church camps or mm -hmm. you know um you know I, I feel like a lot of times for revival to happen you it's almost like you have to be taken away from everything and you know mm -hmm. this is what your focus is like you yeah. don't have to be and so this is saying that you can have that just based on reading your bible which again again focus um you know on what god really wants us to focus on being in his word absolutely our um, personal revival yeah mm -hmm. and so you know again but that also comes like with the um I don't want to say like dedication or yeah. you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, right. responsibility back on us to to do that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and it I feel it all goes back to having the willpower and you know, the I don't want to say self control, desire, but yeah, but, yeah, the desire to mm -hmm. want to do so. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. And that's you know, with if that if you're going to a revival, you know, if you're at if you're at a place where there's a, a revival a revival going on if it's not on biblical teaching, if it's mm -hmm. if they're not using the Bible as their as their starting point and finishing point, and in between, and, it, and every point <laughs> in between, if it's anything less than that, number one, it's not it's not truly of God, mm -hmm. um, and then like it says, it'll fade out and turn into just a you know just a ostentatious display, yeah. um, you know. So that's that it being it being rooted in God's mm -hmm. word is is a absolute utmost importance yeah and i think a lot of times and I, I don't know if it's a male male female thing or um just a personality trait but like i know even like when i read my devotionals each day like i always try to find like okay like how is this speaking to me for today or for like what's going on in our lives or you know just and to not and, and not every thing is is going to do that if that mm -hmm. makes sense like okay. yeah. i feel like you're probably like not every day i pick up i'm like okay well this is what today's title is like this really doesn't have anything to do with what i'm personally going through like right. how is that how, right. like and so yeah. if if you feel like it's not helping you i think it's easy to be like it doesn't really matter if i read it like because it's not personally screaming out jumping out at the page mm -hmm. you know this is what you need to do mm -hmm. um so it goes back to 
I think praying about you know before you read and after you read of okay like you may not be showing me this right now in this moment but to like take it to heart and that way you know it, somewhere down the road it will reveal apply. itself yes mm -hmm. that makes any sense at all I yeah. don't know no it, it absolutely does because that's and what something that I may read today that just really hits home mm -hmm may not for you mm -hmm. or for anybody else out there you know there may be something that's like man that you know that okay yeah. I, you know i like this but it's it, it just doesn't seem to have that self-application mm -hmm. at the moment where the the person next to you it really really um hits you know home. it really hurt, hits mm -hmm. home and stir, stirs their heart so um yeah no that that definitely can be the can be and and it and it may not today but then what you read today may actually hit you next week it may have been preparing mm -hmm. you for something that's coming along just a little bit down the road so that's what uh yeah, yeah. so i think I, I guess my point in it is to like to be encouraged that if it's not something if it doesn't feel revival like every single day like that's normal yeah yeah <laughs> that, that was the that's whole point I was trying very to well to. said you got there <laughs> <laughs> 20 minutes later i yeah. made my point you got there you absolutely got yeah. there so uh, no but that uh I, I think that's good so uh we uh we uh, appreciate y'all for watching and i guess next week will be a live yeah should, should be, be live, yeah so um yeah excited for that so we will it be october it will be october be cooling off a little bit is that okay no good bad no i'm a summer person yeah i mean i enjoy fall i enjoy the colors mm -hmm. and i don't mind a cool day or two but then we should be summer again <laughs> skip winter and be summer i'm ready for some cool weather myself <laughs> yeah all right well you all have a good one and we will catch you live next week